say 10 or 15 minutes. This is Joshua uh, Myers. Uh, west of this area. It is. Just after 8 o'clock. On May 19th, 2010. Okay, just Trekking, possible tornado. Wait here and uh, see if it comes. Uh, Severe thunderstorm. And then fall, fall in behind and uh, shake. Heading near the west side of Tulsa. All right, thank you very much. Uh, and Justin wants to then pull in some balls. Also, I'm going to score with a better advantage on, uh, on some real road to the northwest. Very dangerous storm as it does move this way. Is the radar indicating some golf ball size hail through that area. So continue to see the rotation. Uh, do not see any tornadoes on the ground as of yet. But so we are still monitoring the situation. Reporting live from Kiefer and the KRNG all-wheel drive storm chaser from Quinn Jeep and Bartlesville, John Philbeck, AM740 and FM102. We do have a tornado warning. Rotation is on the left. Bus is about Ball cloud. Tornado warning. It does include Tulsa County right now. Green County under the gun. Also out looking for that storm from the vantage point of it coming in. And uh, continuing to watch these storms track into the Tulsa area. Uh, really status quo right now. But one of the things, one of the dangers in this storm that we really haven't emphasized enough is the amount of lightning that uh, the amount of lightning. It's hard to tell, but it's right over there. Storm in, in some areas. It is on my northwest side. Uh, where the more intense part of the storm is. Uh, there's a lot of electrical energy being discharged. Uh, but right now, County until 9 o'clock. Just a couple Intense of minutes lightning ago, and a wall cloud right over here. The history of producing a tornado, and we've been telling you all about that this evening. It's located 10 miles southwest of Shamrock. It's moving off to the east at 45 miles per hour. A very dangerous storm. You do need to take cover now if you are in those areas. That's also moving our way. We have these two storms, two tornadic storms, or two possibly tornadic storms, coming, converging together. One moving slowly in from the east, one moving in slowly in from the north from the southwest that one is new moving northeast it is moving very slowly yeah, lots of inflow Actually, going into the storm up pace the one off to our east it is moving east at 45 miles per hour it uh if you're in bristow depew kellyville shamrock and slick you do need to go ahead and take cover now as we do have a tornado warning that for uh central creek county until nine o'clock we do have this storm also coming in from our southwest so that has had a history of producing a tornado. Heading back southbound, pulling back. The wall cloud's about to move right over me. And if you want immediate alerts, text wall the cloud's coming right over this hill here. As each of these uh, warnings are posted, you'll get it. So you can hear us, the tornado sirens. We got an intense amount of lightning, a lot of inflow. up here. here but uh, definitely I see the heavy heavy rainfall uh, visibility is becoming a problem of course and uh, 
some of the hail coming in with this storm. We can see anything in these clouds. Uh, right now I've got a line of trees obscuring my view as I come up to the interchange by the uh, the Congo and the Brahms. Again, this is at uh, Riverside and Highway 75 just to the south of the Creek Turnpike. Uh, let me pull up to this light here and see if I can get a look to the south. Uh, and Dan, as you're... Rain. This is some of the heaviest rain I've ever driven in. Dan, as you're in that area, know that uh, these storms, uh, both of these systems are now converging on KRMG Next Ride HD radar. Uh, that is making for a faster moving system. The system is moving faster to the east and somewhat to the northeast. Uh, but this is going to be a big system and uh, it will be slow moving across the area, although it has picked up some speed here recently, Dan. All right, I'm, I'm trying to pull into the Congo parking lot and get good eyes on the southern horizon here turning to the south and now waiting for a lightning strike to see if I see anything. Obviously, another thing we look for if we're at a high enough vantage point is uh, any kind of activity on the ground in terms of uh, transformers blowing. We've seen none of that so far. I've seen very little to no hail. In fact, uh, at times I thought I was experiencing hail. Uh, I, I've come to doubt myself. I think it was just really, really large uh, raindrops. Uh, severe weather emergency on Cox Radio Tulsa from AM 740 and FM 2.3 News Talk KRMG. I do want to recap the warnings that we have right now with that latest one coming out for Cherokee County and Muskogee County. That is a severe thunderstorm warning. But right now we are focused on what's happening in and around the Tulsa immediate area in Tulsa. We do have a tornado warning that is in effect until 9 p.m. And based on what we're seeing right now on KRMG Next Rad HD radar, we do expect for that tornado warning to continue beyond 9 p.m. That is a 9 p.m. tornado warning expiration set to expire here in about 11 minutes, along with a severe thunderstorm warning for Tulsa County for that same time, and a flash flood warning has accompanied those uh, two warnings until 1.45 this morning. If you have not taken cover in Tulsa County and you are in the path of this storm, that would be anywhere from southwest to central to uh, 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 East Central Tulsa County. Now is the time to take cover. That would include communities of Jinx, Bixby, Broken Arrow, Owasso, uh, excuse me, not Owasso, um, although Owasso is getting some, some pretty heavy rain at this point. Uh, also to our west, uh, Creek County Southwest, tornado warning in effect until 9 p.m., a flash flood warning in effect until 1.45, and in Okmulgee, a tornado warning until 9 p.m., along with that same flash flood warning until 1.45. Let's go back out to KRMG's John Philbeck. John, you have been in the center of